श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री राघव दशरथात्मजम प्रमेय सीतापति रघुकुलान्वयरत्नदीप आजानुबाहु अरविंद दड़ायताक्ष निशाचर विनाशक श्री राम जय राम जय जय रामा श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय 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 जय राम जय जय राम जय जय श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम सियावर रामचंद्र की पवन सुत हनुमान की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय अंदर टू लाइट्स ऑफ पढ़ना नो नीड हरिओम तत्सत टू बी गुड or to be bad to be like as rama or to be like as ravana choice is ours so today's topic is choice is ours the existence exercising this choice is given to only the human being note it remember it exercising this choice out of 84 lakhs of the living species only human being have this free will to exercise his choice that means we are so unique in the same way to be dharmic or adharmic to do seva or to get seva from mothers choice is ours to come here nobody has not compelled you is your choice no need of that they are uh, all looking there only Uh, let it be but still that dazzles their eyes they won't focus on me please switch off song time we can put
and notes writing also don't keep on only look at the notes and uh, uh, worry about it okay try to note down in the mind listen attentively 100 percent a good student a good listener a good learner should always have the receiving power sorry first listening power then retaining power and reproducing power we must develop that everyone can develop that improve that to their extent to according uh, to their capacity now to be good and to be like rama to do seva to be as a sevak a person should be a, an inspired person or a prescribed person unless if the person having the inspiration then only you can follow all this if the person is not inspired so to be inspired or not to be inspired also is our choice <laughs> now for another few minutes we are going to get the messages the greatness and the glory of the Srimad Valmiki Ramayanam, the great epic of our country. Everything comes in a tidbits like. Within five minutes, I have just told few words. And that word, if you remember enough, then we have to work out on it. So now where I stop now? Inspiration or the perspiration. <laughs> Now, in order to have the inspiration, you are all inspired or since yesterday roaming here and there, running and going down and all that and not able to have a good sleep and all that, I am feeling drowsy, in spite of all that, try to maintain your energy level. If you sit little bit in between, in between straight, then you will be alert, okay. For that sake, I, we will start with an inspirational song. Before that, I would like to say, first of all, English talk. <laughs> you have to bear with me. No other choice. And uh, Swamiji, I am not able to see you uh, because of camera, little. Uh. What this uh, Mahesh sir is going to in what way he is going to present the Ramayana here? Because since yesterday when they announced and uh, they showed me, <laughs> you all have different picture in your mind maybe. One is uh, if, uh, if you are from North India, there is Ramakatha is a, it goes in a different way. <laughs> if it is in a South India, <laughs> First of all, no Ramakadas many in the South India. That's why there is there is no electoral revolution in South India. <laughs> okay. So, what way is going to explain the Ramayana? Now, it is my big task. I have to treat you as a children, students are learners, seekers, savers, whatever may be. And whatever you are carrying this message after listening, first the beneficiary is you. If I am talking Ramayana, I am the first listener and I am the first beneficiary. If the Ramayana is not benefiting me, then how my words and my teaching can benefit the children or others? So, don't keep on think that after I go back, how I will teach, what, what, nothing. Here, good 
listen and go deeply what is this particular thought what it conveys to me important so that's why i have to mix everything uh, to keep you awake inspired and as well as i have to follow the tradition so i am following a mixture of it is not a total narada paddhati you know narada paddhati means all the time this and gana pure ke pura gana banaye <laughs> and uh, tabla harmonium all that so i am mixing ar vyasa paddhati vyasa paddhati this is called vyasa pitam the vedantic teachers and the how they present the story or the vedanta or the about anything so here i have to mix both of them because now we are in a mixture yuga <laughs> we are not pure either uh, those yugas no other way so for your children also you have to do that keeping all this in the mind i am going um, as i as i wish but that is not my wish that is uh, inside the lord what he wants to express through me i am going to express to you that's all our my guru he speaks so inspirational song okay of course you have just now a hot hot chai chaya you are inspired only <laughs> i think but still come on please sing along with me i mean after i repeat march on heroes look not back and heroes look not back this much only song march on heroes look not back march on heroes look not back then they will blame what about us sir march on heroes look not back this is a inspirational song you are all like children you also do the action okay when i say heroes this side here <laughs> okay march on heroes look not back march on action heroes, back. if you are not ready to do the action you cannot teach the children please remember you need this also this talent also okay don't feel i am compelling or anything more you participate more you are free more you are hmm? uh, open your heart that much you will blossom remember this of course some hesitations will be there that's why here variety of the program very variety come on march on heroes look not back march everybody you can also sing March on heroines look not back March on heroines look not back But still my heroines and heroes are not inspired <laughs> I am feeling tired <laughs> What my dear children I thought at least girls I will call you girls eh? girls have more number is more Okay, okay. slowly you will come to my line hmm? teacher should have patience no yes. we cannot uh, expect every child to come along with me immediately impossible like a stream that goes quickly along like a stream that like a stream that goes quickly along singing pleasantly singing pleasantly each cheerful song each cheerful song singing pleasantly singing pleasantly each cheerful song each cheerful song we bounce through our life 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 with courage with courage rather than withdraw rather than withdraw with courage with 
Rather than withdraw. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Very good, very good, very very good. Now and then we have to say ourselves, I am very good. <laughs> Otherwise, inspiration <laughs> won't be maintained. I am very good. Hmm. Required. Good. You are all good singers, as Swami Nima said. Good, good. Then you will do the all songs nicely. No need to explain the meaning of this song. So simple. Two lines, three lines only. Okay. Again, again, we'll sing, then you will uh, able to by heart or write down later. So now we are all inspired. To listen to the Ramayana, you must be an inspired person like Hanumanji. There is nobody to compare or say equal to Hanumanji. Inspiration, not only inspiration, what are all the values and the qualities you are learning here? All the good, 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 great, great, great. Everything one person symbolizes. We'll come to his story later. Now, Sri Madhvalmiki Ramayana is the source for many other Ramayanas. I'm not going uh, just uh, like a story. All of us will know the stories. Yes? Something or other, but looking into it more deeply, yes, because more and more you listen, more and more you read, more and more you look into it, okay, it will reveal the so many great, great things. That is the glory of either Mahabharata, Bhagavatam, or the Ramayana, or even Vedanta Grandhas. By one listening, by one look, by one reading, you can't receive the total essence of it. Doubtful whether our life is enough or not, sometimes. So, we must keep on listening and imbibe ourselves with the, the total vision of what the Ramayana wants us to learn, what Valmiki wants us to learn from the Ramayana, why he composed and wrote. But the little bit, the beginning story is very essential today being I am starting the Ramayana. This great epic consisting of 24,000 shlokas and later Tulasi Ramayana, Kamba Ramayana, many other languages, many people uh, written the Ramayana again for the local people's purpose. And the beauty of this Ramayana starting is uh, no any Mangala Shloka in the beginning. Generally, even Vedantic texts, Shankaracharya also start with some kind of uh, the Mangala Shloka, uh, saluting to his Guru or the uh, God like that. But you know here Ramayana's uniqueness Tapaswadhyaya niratam Tapasvi vagvidam varam Naradam paripapracha Valmiki munipungavam What is the word started Ramayana? Tapa Two letters word Tapaha that itself is Shubham, that itself is complete because if once a person's life becomes a Tapomaya Jeevanam, then he becomes divine himself. He recognizes the divinity within and he becomes divine itself. That means he merges with the divine. 
So tapas means hard work, tapas means sincerity, tapas means commitment, tapas means punctuality. Huh? Whatever you are going to listen, every day values only we are going to listen. Values, 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 values. too much sir. <laughs> Your head will become like that. But what to do? What is the question I asked in the beginning? You want to be good or you want to be bad? You want to be like Rama or you want to be like Ravana? Choice is ours, yours. <laughs> then um, you want to be on this dharma, goodness or uh, on the side of the Rama. Then you have to do tapas. In simple meaning of tapas is hard work. Even the Patanjali Yoga Sutra in the Niyamas, it is said uh, Shaucham, cleanliness and the Santosham, contentment. And then uh, immediately Patanjali mentions about the Tapas, Tapaha. Yenna, sometimes Tamil words are coming in between. After a long time, I am talking in English. Most of my classes are in Tamil. What is the second thing? Contentment means uh, trupti. Enough. I am happy with this. Then you will become lazy. I am happy with this means I need not to try or struggle for further, sir. The question will come, no? No. That's why contentment means not be lazy or the uh, not putting the efforts. That's why immediately tapas. You have to work hard, put your efforts uh, forward, do the best and leave the rest. Do the best. This is called Manusha Prayatnam. Human effort. Then Ishwara's grace will follow. If the person who is not putting the effort, Ishwara grace, Guru's grace never come to him. Remember this. Very important point. That's why Tapaswadhyaya niratam Tapasvi vagvidam varam I have to ponder on this sloka. Okay? I am taking little bit. I am not a hurry to finish, finish up. This book looks very big. <laughs> this is only part one. How much you have completed, don't worry about it. How much have you have received <laughs> and how much you have retained. Don't forget this sutra, how much you are able to reproduce. Another doubt I have to clarify whether you got the doubt or not, I got the doubt. Sir, why you are calling us as a heroes and heroines? What you are thinking? We are not the cinema actors. We are not the hmm? film stars. You must know that also. A real hero or heroine is not cricket players or the cinema actors, my dear children. A person who wants to walk on the path of the dharma, the person who wants to seek the highest perfection in the life, the Fourth Purusha or the Moksha is called hero or heroine. That's why Upanishad and Shastra calls him Dheeraha. If I say that word, my word is hairpulating. Oh, such a powerful word, Upanishad keep on telling Dheeraha, Dheeraha. Dheeraha is equal to heroes. That's why Upanishad says a weak person, meek person cannot attain any great goal in the life. Naya Matma Balahi Nena Labhya Upanishad says. In between I will say whatever I know the Sanskrit also. Then only you will be little erect. What sir? What sir? What you say? So multi-language, no? So remember this. Otherwise there is no meaning to sing this song. You must know the meaning, then for children's sake, like this, songs are required. Okay? Inspirational songs, value-based songs, any language. 
Now, this first shloka conveys that introduction of the Guru and Sishya. Here the Guru is Narada Mahar Maharshi. Narada, to talk about Narada ji, uh, this life is not enough. In every Purana, in every story he appears. And he is liked by everybody. We also must be like that. He can go to the Hiranyakashipu's palace, he can go to the Ravana's palace, and he can, everybody, Vangu, come, 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 Naraji, come on, aye, aye. Why? Such a person. That means how many he is also having good qualities. Of course, his story is so big because everywhere he comes. Here also, in Bhagavata also, he is the teacher for Vyasa Acharya to commence and compose the Bhagavata. And Chandogya Upanishad also, Naradji. But there he goes as a student. <laughs> okay. So here Naradji. Once upon a time, the Naradji, without calling the Guru, came to the Sishya. Now in Kaliyugam, mostly the Gurus are waiting that why people are not come. Please come, please come to the class. All Swamiji's and everybody. We are not going those days. We have to go to the Guru and stay in the Guru class and all these things. But now Gurus are mobile temples like. They are available, traveling. Okay. But those days also, Naraji, without calling by the Valmiki, Yadruchaya, suddenly he visited the Valmiki's ashramam. It is not sudden, there is your sankalpa, there is something to happen. Please remember, whenever these great Mahatmas, great devotees, Bhaktas or Gnanis, wherever they go, wherever they appear, any situation, there is some purpose behind it. Because they move only according to Ishwar Icha. So Naraji came to Valmiki's ashram and then immediately Valmiki ji stood up and did all the namaskara and atidhyam. Then immediately this is the quality of the student I am talking. And then about the quality of the teacher also. But here the quality of the teacher is explained first in the shloka okay, about the Naraji. Naraji is very full fledged in tapas. Tapas swadhyaya niratam. After saying the tapas, he is a great tapasvi. Bhakta, Devarshi. Swadhyaya niratam. That means always revel in the name of Lord, thinking about the Lord. Lord Susmarana. Narayana 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 Om Narayana 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 Om Narayana 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 Om Louder. Let me Narayana 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 Om Let me Narayana Narayana Om Narayana 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 Om Narayana Narayana Om 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 Narayana, 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 Narayana,
This is the trick we use as a Bhagavata Khadakaras because we don't allow the people to sleep. <laughs> so, you clap the hands, will be we become energetic and mind becomes energy, body moves. And so, do whatever at that particular time. No? If you are singing a bhajana, sing joyfully. If you are sitting quietly, sit quietly. If you are walking, walk briskly. If you want, walk slowly, walk slowly. Yes. Do whatever that way. Be natural in that particular moment. So, without calling the Lord Narayana and talking about the Naraji is not good, no. That's why Narayana Bhagavan came. So, Naraji always with the Swadhyaya. Swadhyaya means he will be always with the satsang and Sat people and he will talk about the Sat everything. Always about the Divine, 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 Divine. There is nothing else. The life should become someday or later God oriented totally. Tapu Maya Jeevanam or Ishwara Maya Jeevanam. And he himself is a tapasvi, and he himself is always part engage himself in Swadhyaya. And uh, that Naraji, another quality of that Naraji Guru, Vagvidam Varam. Very, very good Varam. Vagvidam to convey. It is very, very important for us. Many times, many people know many things, but they may not be able to communicate. In Vedanta, it is said, Shrotriya Brahmanishta. The only Brahmanishta is not enough because if we don't communicate, how we will know? If a Shrotriya and Brahmanishta both are there, that means he knows and he can communicate and inform to others also. That is what Swami is telling to you. Here, only you are gathering a lot of information and all that, uh, this full uh, in the camp. But that how I can communicate. So, communication skills in different aspects. Communication skills itself has got a big broad spectrum. So, such a great Narada, Naradam. Then, Valmik also, Munipungavam, the adjective given here, Valmik, Munipungavam. Among the Munis, he is also a great saint. Actually, Valmiki to become like that, the cause is the only Naradji. In the, you know, before the Valmiki is a just tribal living in the forest like that, then Naradji given the Ramanama mantra and then he got transformed himself. And so, then he became a great tapasya also, Valmiki Munipungavam Paripapracha. With a lot of curiosity, with a lot of devotion, this paripapracha, I am not going to so detail, but there is a, see whenever you ask a question, there should be a humility, obedience with the teacher and receptivity. You should not simply ask just like a joke or uh, vaguely, there should be clarity. So, this paripapracha means what to ask, when to ask, where to ask, how to ask. What, sir? <laughs> I won't repeat. <laughs> this many things are required. You must be obedient, you must see the proper time and properly. And from that person, if I ask what? I can get the maximum benefit. If somebody, a poor man goes to the Anilambani and Anilambani is ready to give some charity. 
this fellow goes and asks, uh, sir, you just give me 10 rupees to buy the betel nut and that chuna, what is that? <laughs> North India, famous, no? All that a bit. Anparagar, whatever. He will ask that, then, he is a very mean person. Like that, God also is ready to give so much for us. His blessings are showering like anything. And uh, we are not ready to receive. We are not able to understand what is the blessings of the God or the Guru. See, a proper here Guru and Sisha meeting. They are not new. Naraji knows, but uh, just he came to, there is some purpose. This visit has got some purpose. Then what Valmiki ji asked the Narada? Why he didn't talk about the when the next general election? <laughs> What people are thinking whether again the Modi ji BJP will come. <laughs> and generally if the Narad ji goes to Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashpu, Hiranyakashpu you know what he asks. Narad ji, kaise ho aap? Kaha se aara hai? Uh, how people are talking about me in that loka? Because he is having, he got a visa, free visa. To the entire three worlds, Naranji. Nobody will stop him. <laughs> Cannot stop. So, but Hiranyakashpa asked, what Devasat are thinking, talking about me? What people are talking in that world, in that Because he is always having a fear about if anybody is going to take revenge on me or if anybody is going to become so uh, greater or the powerful than me. Uh, like these other parties are all joining, no? Uh, they are very much afraid. They are not able to sleep. That's why there is pro their problem. Now what to do? But this great Rishi Valmiki Munipungavam, you see what he asked. Because how much, how long the Narada is going to stay? I, you don't know. If he just goes immediately. So, the available time, the short time from the Guru, from a Mahatma, what I have to ask? There are some uh, funny stories also in Purana Sarjan. Even Lord appears, uh, this person, devotee, got confused. What to ask? What to ask? Then, as I said, the example is beggar going to the Anilambani and asking for a 10 rupees. Many times, devotee also. <laughs> Uh, you just give me a good house. But the Kuchala didn't ask when he go, uh, went to visit the, see the, his old, good old friend Krishna. He didn't ask anything. But at heart of the heart, the friendliness, the prema, bhakti, with all that surrender he went, he got everything. So what to ask, when to ask, how to ask, this everything we must know. Very beautiful. Konvasmin sampradam loke gunavan kashchaviryavan. The whole Ramayana is this. Again, again, I am not able to stop myself to say, whenever I read that word itself, my hair on the body standing. Konvasmin sampradam loke. Gunavan Kashaviryavan Dharmagnascha Krudagnascha Satyavakyo Dhudavrata Charitrena Chako Yuktaha Sarvabhute Shuko Hitaha Vidwan Kaha Kaha Samardascha Kashcheka Priyadarshana Atmavan ko jitakrodaha, dutiman ko nasuyakaha, kasya bibhyati devascha, jataroshasya samyuge. I will just tell the word. Very important. If this is not known and just going inside Kada and all that later, the whole Ramayana is the. Valmiki asking 16 questions to Naraji. 
I am so eager, Narajji. I am so curious to know. There is anybody, any human being now on this earth who is having all these sixteen qualities? The expansion and the explanation of the whole Ramayana is these sixteen qualities. Nothing else. See, to see these Puranas or the Itihatas, different dimensions are there. But now we are listening today in a different dimension. That 16 qualities, now what I read is a question. Tell me, who is having these kind of qualities? There is any person now on the earth. Don't tell that somebody was there or somebody is there in the Swarga. Ah, I don't want some other Loka here. He is curious. Then after he asked this question 16, what are they? I will tell you later. Our work is only on that only. Slowly we will enter. But if you don't know this basic where Ramayana started, how it started, why it started, what is what it is going to convey? All of you are able to follow my English? Hmm. I am not good in any language. Everything is okay. I can communicate that much, somewhat, but simple. After asking, Etadichamyaham Shrotum. Param kautu halam hime. Don't worry that I am going to read all the shlokas like this. Important, starting. I want to know, I am kautu halam. I am so curious, interested to know. Maharshetvam samardhosi. Because you are the traveler of the all the three worlds, definitely you will know if anybody is there like that. If you don't know, no other person cannot know. That's why he is encouraging and asking, Naraji, definitely you may be knowing that. Samardhosi, you are capable of telling, answering my question. Then, Another word used here is Maharshetvam Samardhosi Gnatu Mevam Vidam Naram. Important word. You don't tell about this some Devata, is there some Devar, she is there, some Nagaloga. No, human being. By being in the human form, is it possible? Can we imagine a person can have this 16, this kind of qualities? Because I am having a doubt. Maybe rarely anybody may be there. You just tell to me. I am very interested. And after listening these questions from the Valmiki and Naraji becomes so happy. Hmm. When a student asks a nice question, Really with the curiosity, really with the interest, huh? teacher will feel so happy about that child. Same way, with any guru whom we consider as the teacher, guru, and if you ask something like that, they will feel so happy. Narada also become, then after becoming Prahushtaha, very much happy. Then. Vakyama Bhravit. Then Naraji started telling like this. What he said first? Bahavo Durlabhaschaiva. Valmiki ji, as you asked many people to be like that, difficult. Durlabham, rare. 
भवो दुर्लभाश्चया की गुणा द गुणा सूच यू आर आस्किंग टू हैव एनी पर्सन मेनी वोट बी देर ओके मनुष्याण सहस्रेशु कशि एतति सिद्ध इन भगवद्गीता भगवान सेस अबाउट दिस रेरिटी ऑफ द ए मुमुक्षु ज्ञानी आर ए सीकर दैट्स वे स्वामी सेड मॉर्निंग यू आर ऑल वेरी रेयर यू आर ए सेलेक्टेड पीपल नॉट बाय द एम फॉर सेवा सेलेक्टेड बाय द गॉड सेलेक्टेड बाय द सनातन धर्म दिस पर्सन हैज टू वर्क दस वेद माता सनातन धर्म and the ishwara sankalpa now if you remember that you will just progress like that that itself is inspiration for you side other things who are all coming and helping and all that we all we are all just in between instruments so naraj ji telling that hey valmiki ji what you asked is uh, uh, Difficult to have many, mm, but yes, there is a person because that time when Valmiki and that quality Gunawan also is there. I will tell you about that. Ichwa kukula vamsha prabha ha Ramo nam janai shruta ha. In the Ekshwakukula, in the Surya Vamsya, born, whose name is called Rama 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 Bhajore Rama 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 Bhajore Rama Bhajore Rama Bhajore Rama Rama Bhajore Rama 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 Bhajore Rama 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 Param Dhamma Rama 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 Ayodhya Rama 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 Ayodhya Rama 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 Bhajore Rama 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 Bhajore Rama Bhajore रामचंद्र की टू लेटर्स वर्ड पावरफुल सो मच पावरफुल यस वाल्मीकि जी राम नाम is very popular among the people janaihi shrutah yes people talk about him i also heard then naradi started telling the qualities of the lord that you asked no not only 16 i am going to tell about him 60 Now the next shloka, sir, all Naraji elaborating from different angles of a personality because Rama is a chhatriya. So as a king, as a good son, as a brother, as a valorous hero, as a good husband, what not? So for Narada, uh, he is very happy. So he elaborately sixty. nearly he just read all that whatever the valmiki asked them then list goes just uh, one line alone i am not going to read everything niyatatma mahaviryo dutiman dutiman vashi buddhiman nitiman vagmi shri maschu shri maschatru nirbarhana then his body stature also he explains that ramas ramo Not only Vigrahavan Dharma, ha, Rama is a embodiment of beauty also. 
Rama means itself beauty, one meaning. Rama means joy. Rama means reveling, enjoying, residing inside of all of our heart. So, his body, the beauty also, in one place later, all even Rishis, Tapasvis are also got attracted for the beauty of the Rama. Not only human beings and the Rishis, Munis, even the animals got attracted. They all just stand like that still and blink, without blinking looking at the Rama's beauty. So, like this, the big list goes 60. So, with this, we are entered into the <laughs> Ramayana, Srimad Valmiki Ramayana. And after that, he gives the a Samshipta Ramayana also. Because that actually, when Narada is explaining to uh, Valmiki ji, all the Ramayana completed. Rama again came back and started ruling and Sita sent to there and they got two children, Lavakushas, everything. Uh, then so he narrated the whole Samkshipta Ramayana in hundred some slokas. Then after listening what happened, Naraji said, um, then Valmiki, thank you so much. I will ponder on that person who is there. I will think more and more about that Rama. So Valmiki is so thrilled. Then Naraji went off. He took leave and went off. Then one day, maybe after the one, next day or like that, Valmiki Maharshi along with his disciple Bharadwaja went to Tamasa Nadi river to take bath. Some Sandhya time, um, Madhyamika Sandhya time. Then, there a, a, an incident took place and the turning point. This small story like when Valmiki enjoying that nature and all that uh, and the Tamasa river, the flow of the river, beauty. The beauty of the wise people is. Uh, Seeing beauty in everywhere, not only by going to the beauty parlor, <laughs> they never go. <laughs> or in other words, to say, even seeing the beauty in the ugliness, that is the wise vision. How it possible, sir? You may not be able to understand, don't worry, you will understand one day. When Valmiki is enjoying like that in that uh, nature and everything, uh, Bharadwaja Shishya helping and uh, he took bath and all. Uh, then suddenly uh, his uh, vision went to on one branch of the tree. There two crouch birds are happily playing and uh, both each other dancing. And when Valmiki saw that, by seeing that also, he, he went to the Bhava Samadhi. Uh, that Bhava Samadhi, for you to little bit understand, our Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, that's why, whatever they say, when he travels in, uh, in a boat to, to cross the Ganges, by seeing that river flow, he becomes, uh, go to ecstasy. It's nothing but ecstasy. Some kind of inner devotional prema, it just fled like that. That is the, in Bhakti it will happen. If he says the, he says the birds are flying in a group in the sky, Ramakrishna becomes, goes to Bhava Samadhi. Here see how beautiful environment, what a big banyan and the trees are there. You have to look them as a presence of the divine. So, now Valmiki enjoy, enjoying means he forgot himself. See, whenever you are enjoying, we will forget ourselves. Hmm? When we laugh, you won't remember you. You cannot be miserable and you can la cannot laugh. When we laugh, huh, we forget about ourselves. 
But when you are misery, you are very much uh, thinking about yourself. See the difference. This is called depression, that is called expression. Then, in the uh, Bhava Samadhi, that time, suddenly, all of a sudden, one of that bird fell down. And not only that, he saw one arrow came and hit the bird and then one bird uh, fell down. And it is a fluttering, bleeding. Now, Valmiki immediately, he is in a, see, Navarasas, Ramayana, another point, you will see all the Navarasas in this. If you want to enjoy and really go closer to the nature, if you read Ramayana, Valmiki in a such beautiful way explained. And once you go on reading and inside going to story, story, Vedanta won't be very explicitly outside, but internally it is intermingled Vedanta. Only one or two incidents only direct speech will come. But most of, but still the beauty, uh, greatness of the Ramayana is, but you will feel like that you are listening to Vedanta. Vedanta means not a dry subject. Not only that, you will feel that you are with the, all the rishis. You will forget yourself. Particularly in the Ayodhya Kanda to Aranya Kanda, all the great rishis will come there. Rama visits all of them. So, you feel like that you are traveling with that our great rishi parampara. You will feel definitely. You will feel like that just you are in that Dandaka Aranya. And uh, you are in that hermit, uh, that ashram. That is the greatness of the Ramayana. So it gives the total uh, emotional connection and as well as uh, brings the devotion, then Gnanam, everything. Now, the story is the bird fell down, then uh, he became angry. Suddenly, without his knowledge, uh, he got angry and then that anger um, then uh, become uh, agony. Agony means a shokam. Then when that shoka overpowered the Valmiki, Sir, um, Rushis and Munis also will get shokam. Yeah, they will get shokam, not totally identified with it, but they identify with that incident that's why they will console they will feel more concerned this is what we need if other uh, the person who is sitting in front of us or he's having some problem on when you closely identify with him and share with him his sorrow if you share he feels so happy you should not give just only a big big words that time uh, you must be very sympathetic. Then, shoka turned as shloka. The shloka. <laughs> then, Valmiki did a curse. In that shloka, there is a curse. Whoever may be that person who shoot at the arrow, he also in his life with the sorrow and the misery, he will suffer in his life like that he just uttered. After uttering that shloka, the Valmik himself thinking that, hey, what happened to me? Why I identified with the shloka? What is this shloka? I never... Then immediately Bharadwaja heard the shloka, such a brilliant student, he remembered everything, that shloka. Then, Paradwaja, uh, what I said? What is it? Why it came like that? What is that shloka? I will tell you in the next episode. And then after this happened, then 
he cursed and that uh, hunter uh, he didn't see straight away or he came and uh, fell on the feet of the uh, valmiki and went off and that one shloka is multiplied multiplied and not only that he just gone back to his ashram and he, he in his mind only this incident and uh, that utterance and this is the shloka only repeating 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 he is not able to forget or the divert the mind then why it is coming so much like this then he sat quietly then brahma ji appeared there see again Then Brahma Ji appeared. Brahma Ji means another Guru. See, in life, here and there, now and then, whenever turning points comes, the Gurus will come in our life. They will guide. They will show the way. Have this belief, please. Never lose the heart. Then Brahma Ji blessed Valmiki. Valmiki, this uh, not happened just like that. This is all. This all, all the Ishvara Sankalpa. Now this one shloka is going to bring out the entire twenty-four thousand that Rama, you know, Rama Gatha, Rama Katha, and that we have to contemplate and write. Rama and Valmiki are living together live at the same time, contemporaries. In Valmiki's ashram. Rama's two children are living, and he wrote this complete. He composed, completed the Ramayana, and he taught this Ramayana first to the children of the Rama, and made the Lavakusha to go and sing the Ramayana in the Ayodhya. So, Ramayana heard first by the two children, small children, beautiful. They will sing like Gandharvas. And that his own story heard by Rama, <laughs> and he himself got thrilled. <laughs> Then how much we must get thrilled in that way, the Rama in a. So then stories one after another, Balakanda. That in that what important things that we'll take later. I will conclude here. ंद ओमानंद ओमानंद सचिदानंद ओमानंद ब्रह्मानंद ओमानंद आत्मानंद समस्ता सुगिनो भवन्तु लोका समस्ता सुगिनो भवन्तु लोका समस्ता सुगिनो भवन्तु ओम शांति शांति हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ हरि ओम तत्स